What's up everyone? Today's challenge actually starts from turn 1 as you can see we find triple ladybug in the shop and we level up into a tabby cat which I think we will take over the bat. Grounded I believe did this like literally a week ago so I, I wanted to do the same thing and uh, I think tabby cat is better than bat it's more likely that we win on a, uh, with a tabby cat on the team rather than a bat so uh, yeah Tabby Cat honestly is not a, a bad unit, it has pretty decent stats, it's a 4-3 and uh, its ability is also kinda nice in the mid game to have, I believe before it wanted food and not perks specifically which was a lot better but unfortunately they nerfed it, they nerfed both its stat line and the ability so now it's a 4-3 that requires perks. So not super useful but you can combine it with something like the lemur with the garlic press as well as that you can maybe put a rice on it or something uh, hoping to sell it off in the future. But of course for this challenge we want to keep tabby cat in the team until the very end and uh, ideally we also want to get it up to level 3 so that's what uh, we'll be hoping to do. We level up into a puppy plus owl combination here which I think I take the puppy. Uh, Al is also pretty decent but we would need to sell another unit on the team in order to make space for the mouse to spawn which um, I, didn't, I didn't think it was super convenient so I just uh, decided to take Puppy instead. Here thankfully we win, we really don't want to be leaking many lives um, so early because we want to have a lot of uh, lives to spare in order to buy the chocolates in order to get the tabby cat all leveled up. Unfortunately our shop luck wasn't the best so on turns uh, 3 and 4 we did not find any extra tabbies so we will have to hope to see them in the late game. Here we find a tropical fish so now we have a way of scaling as well apart from the puppy and uh, I think we are set up pretty nicely. We might still be losing to gecko plus um, a garlic press plus a hatching chick teams you know how that goes but I think our setup is pretty strong also so I'm not complaining we even find a hatching chick of our own so we will be taking that most likely instead of the chipmunk yep I could have even snuck in a lemur right there for the garlic press onto the mod but for some reason I, I guess I had the lemur blindness right there no matter uh, we did save a little bit of gold by not doing that so I think we will have a solid chance of maybe leveling up into something nice on this turn. Uh, we're hoping for something that gives us some tempo and uh, we do level into an ego so that is pretty nice. Ego we can even put at the front because it has the ability to spawn a snapping jaw turtle which is something that you want to have on the tropical fish the skewer because the tropical fish has a lot of HP obviously but uh, yeah it can also spawn a chicken so maybe it gives us some shop scaling for the future most likely this build is going to go in the direction of going towards uh, tier 6 units like uh, we usually do uh, thankfully we do get a level 2 uh, tabby cat in the shop we'll take it next turn but for now we are very satisfied to see it in the shop. I put a croissant on the ego because I believe there's literally nothing better to do in the shop. Maybe we could have rolled three times to, f to have found a hatching chick or a mod but I don't know I'm feeling kind of in a risky spot right now honestly so I'm taking all of the wins I can get. We still have four hearts and uh, we're at six wins so we're doing very well for ourselves and we will take double level up here. We could have taken a double elephant seal actually but I decided to take the T-Rex plus octopus combination because Tabby Cat is kind of serving like an elephant seal at the moment it's not giving permanent stats but if we do perk it up it's going to give us some stat which so I decided to go for the uh, Tabby Cat being the only perk scaler on the team and uh, we are even going to be buffing it a little bit with the hatching check. Or I guess not, I guess we're buffing the octopus instead. Um, I guess I, I can't really blame myself for that. I really wanted to make the tabby cat the star of the show but 
it's really very difficult to achieve something like that. As you can see we barely win there even with the proper positioning and setups. A lot of people will probably be leaving comments saying bad positioning because of the stream that uh, RevGT had yesterday, the gauntlet stream. Whatever the case though, we'll continue rolling. I, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for, I guess chocolates for the T-Rex. But other than that we found a bunch of stonefish which I don't really think we needed. We would prefer to have a better tier 5 or 6 unit and hopefully we find something next turn. We're going to be very happy with a lionfish or a mantis shrimp. We immediately find the mantis shrimp in the shop so we transition. We're kind of in a scary spot. At 8 wins, we are winning a bit too quickly, the tabby cat is nowhere near level 3 right now, it will need 3 more chocolates to get there. So we are hoping for a loss right here. Uh, I'm even kind of positioning for it, or maybe not really, I should have put the octopus at the back if I wanted that. But uh, thankfully we lose regardless because they have a huge unit at the front. So yeah, thank you very much for that loss. We can put the chocolate on the tabby and as well as that we find another tabby in the shop so I'm feeling a lot more confident. I even take a T-Rex level up because I feel like with 10 gold it's pretty likely that we'll find either a tabby cat or a chocolate in the shop. Here we face Bucky Beaver actually who is a member of the channel so thank you very much Bucky Beaver and uh, thank you for destroying us as well. I mean that uh, completely seriously, no, none uh, sarcasm whatsoever because we wanted some extra time. We actually get the level 3 T-Rex before we get the level 3 Gabby Cat which is kind of funny. We even find some melon to put on the units next turn. Um, because we'll keep losing over and over I, I'm feeling kind of confident about um, like um, taking my time finding the level up and instead improving the team. But right here I believe we are going to win, yeah. So I think I might have to unfreeze the ego at the very least. Yeah, I buy the melon. And uh, we'll keep rolling for the tabby, hopefully we find it. And uh, what happens actually is that with the last remaining gold we actually find it and we get it up to level 3. So all that's left for us to do is to win. And uh, hopefully this happens on this turn because it's going to be getting even more difficult from here. But unfortunately we face a double T-Rex, Stonefish, Panther and a Doberman team so we lose. Thankfully we do have another chance and uh, this is actually be go uh, going to be the final round of the video. We end up winning here. So I really hope you enjoyed this. If you want to stick around to the end you can do that because I have an extra clip for you. But uh, yeah this is going to be the team. We even get some slight attack buffage from the tabby cat, so uh, hopefully that matters in the last fight. And yeah, as you can see here, another Doberman plus T-Rex team, but this time they have gone a little bit meme with the Axolotl, so we actually win as a result. The tabby cat dealing the final blow, and this is going to be it. As for the last video, I just have this toy setup right here with the foam sword. I wanted to make a standalone video but this doesn't win so yeah I'm just putting it here at the end of the video so I hope that you can enjoy this setup a little bit as well. And uh, that will be all from me for today. I really hope you enjoyed the content and uh, if you did I hope that you like, sub, do all the generic stuff and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.